What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are returning to Canada's most haunted house, aka the Haunted Demon House here in Ontario. I am back from Newfoundland. We're filming locally for the time being until I figure out what my next adventure is going to be. I have no idea. Maybe you guys could suggest some, some places to go, some haunted locations, travel locations. Whatever comes to mind, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. For this one, I decided I'm gonna do a little bit of an experiment. I have several haunted items in the car. One of them was actually the doll that we've had here before, and it seems like we got some sort of interaction between the spirits, the entities that are inside of this house. We do believe something bad potentially happened here. We still don't know what it is, but we're uncovering things as we keep coming back here. We get more and more information from the other side, from whatever it is that's here. So I'm gonna head on in in a few minutes. The sun is just setting. Oh, the mosquitoes out here, let me tell you, the mosquitoes are just something else tonight. It was actually just raining as I pulled in and then finally it stopped, but yeah. So basically what we know about this house so far, apart from the fact that I want it as my own, but unfortunately I have to move it and so far we're having a few problems with that and I'll get to that in probably a later segment or a later video. I don't even know yet, but we're figuring it out. But apart from that, what we do know is that someone may have in fact done something terrible here even potentially to a child, which is insane. So we get a lot of interaction, so I might go in there first empty-handed, just with Spirit Talker, just to try and communicate and make sure the spirits are active tonight. Usually they are, I've never really had an issue with this place, we've always had a, a lot of luck here. After that, I may actually go to, ooh, mosquito right in the air. After that, I may actually head over to a haunted forest area, and uh, there's a bit of a story about that one too. So I don't know how I'm gonna split these up, I don't know what's gonna be on the main channel, what's on the vlog channel, but yeah, things are pretty exciting. It's fun, I'm gonna be trying a lot of different things. I'm actually going on a trip with my good friend Anthony. We're gonna be going fishing, something I have never done before. So I'm really, really excited. Believe it or not, I have never fished. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'll probably vlog a lot of that as well. Funny enough, it's actually in an area that I've been to before. There's an abandoned prison called Burwash there, but apart from that, I do wanna go back there eventually. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but we'll figure it out, hopefully. But let's head on inside and try and interact with whatever might be here tonight. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, spirits, I'm sure you guys are uh, probably really familiar with me. Maybe you're even tired of me at this point. Um, but I am back, and uh, I'm hoping to communicate with you guys tonight. I brought some, some friends, if you will. Let's actually get uh, Spirit Talker going here, and uh, try and communicate. Every time I come here, I swear it just gets worse and worse. And I can always tell because there's like certain things kind of lying around and then they're just moved. <laughs> so you know people are coming here. All right, well, I got this device in my hand. Well, for a second, I almost thought I saw something back there. Joe. Joe. J O. Joe. Who's Joe? So the sun hasn't completely set, but believe it or not, Hazel. it's already 9.15 p.m. Hazel, okay. Is there somebody here named Hazel? Hazel and Joe? So we're still trying to sort out the, the family history because there were several generations, apparently, of the same family that lived in this house for about a century. Are there... Anybody from any of the generations of people who used to live here? There's a passing. Yeah, I know there's a passing club, but I swear I just heard something. What the hell was that? Hello? I don't want to scare you. Okay, we know you're here now, that's good. If I bring 
one of my friends inside, some that you're probably not familiar with. I know you met the other one. We're still trying to figure out its name. We know there's something attached to it. So I did bring a doll here, if you guys remember. I know, I'm a dude playing with Charles. dolls. But whatever, I got the name Charles. And uh, <laughs> we know there's something up with that doll. I still need to bring it to a more neutral place, somewhere that's not known to be haunted. Um, so that way we can get direct interaction. But I thought, <laughs> good. You think that's good? You wanna, you wanna make an interaction with some friends? Sounded like somebody went up the stairs. Somebody just go up the stairs. Let me uh, get you guys off the tripod. That was uh, loud and clear. Still sounds like something's moving. Somebody up there? Spirit talker running. It legit sounded as if something went up the stairs. Is that you, Charles or Joe or Hazel? You got a lot of names in this place. Last time I was here, I saw something move. Dancing. Dancing. Somebody dancing? <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna open this door. This area always gives me the damn creeps. But there's always a lot of bees and wasps and hornets in there. Which is always fun. Can you tell me which room you might be in? So I can come and find you? Like something just moved. This door is like completely jammed. What the also, look at this. Damn. It's crazy. This place is literally falling apart. I have a feeling one day this uh, ceiling might not exist. Let's go back down for a second. We always start Doris. off. There's another name, Doris. We always start off upstairs. For some reason, something compelled me to start from downstairs. Hence the reason why I'm doing that. <clears throat> All right, we need a few more answers. Any other information you want to tell me? Was there a child murdered in this house? We do know that there is a Connection somewhere down the line. Oh, there's a cold gust of air coming in here. What the hell? As soon as I started talking about the child, it's right here, right in front of me. Is there a child standing in front of me? Whoa, it's getting colder. Holy crap. That's amazing. You wanna give me a sign? Maybe move something? Hit something? How is that even possible? It is really hot today, guys. Like even right now, outside, extremely hot. And I also just noticed somebody etched hay into the wall there. I might actually come and- Whoa, trapped here. You're trapped here. 
Are you not able to leave? My camera's picking up on somebody right here, which is where that cold air is coming from. Wow, okay. Trapped here. Your family. I just heard something move. Your family? Like my family? Or are you, am I considered your family now? It's not all bad. Whoa, dude. It's not all bad. Yes, I do believe that not everything here is bad. I do think there are good people here and I think... Badly. Damn. I'm telling you guys, this might actually be one of the most active places I have ever experienced. Something up there? Okay, I'm gonna bring in my friend now. Hopefully that's cool with you, if you don't mind. I'm telling you guys, this place is just non-stop activity. Don't tell people. Don't tell people. Don't tell people what? Oh, damn. So much debris all over the damn floor. Like, people are literally ripping sockets out of the wall. Which is just dumb, but... It's what it is, I suppose. Okay, time to bring a friend in. Okay, so we're back in the house now. I've brought all the haunted items that I want to use for this segment. And the first one is really unique. Um, I never would have even thought of something like this until we found this in an antique shop. I don't even really remember where we were. I think we might have been in Ohio or something. I think it was me, Chelsea, Lomar, and Kim. And we stumbled across this. This is a very old camera. I wouldn't even know really how to use it, to be honest. I don't know like where you look at things. It's cool though, um, but it's very, very old. It actually was a little bit pricey too. It comes from Rochester, New York. Um, Eastman Kodak Company, pretty cool. Um, so what we do believe, so first things first, as we were walking through, I was kind of trying to identify haunted objects because I've just been recently getting into it. I mean, I bought that haunted doll and you know, I, I do have a couple other things that we're gonna use for other videos and uh, just use them for investigations. But yeah, we were basically in this antique shop and I'm looking all, at all these old cameras and for some reason, there was just something about this one. At this point, Chelsea, who is actually a medium, was at, I think on like the other end of the store. So finally caught up with her and I said, I need you to come and check something for me. So we went to the, the section of these old cameras and I said, can you, point out any specific specificities about any particular cameras and she pointed at this exact one now we don't yet know the full story about what the deal is with this camera but what she explained to me is that she believes that somebody might be attached to this camera maybe a photo taken of that person or maybe the person who owned and used the camera themselves and uh that was weird. Something just touched my shoulder. All right. <laughs> um, anyways, so what we think, and this is just, you know, an assumption, just a possibility. We don't know for sure. We think that someone may have passed holding this camera, which is crazy to even think about. Like, I'm, I'm trying to kind of imagine how that would have happened. Um, where they like taking a picture and then suddenly they fell ill and you know, just kind of essentially dropped dead on the spot. We don't know when that would have happened, but I mean, looking at how old this freaking thing is, it was probably a long time ago. Um, now there's a couple other things that I have as well. Um, we're gonna get to those in a moment, but let's run the spirit talker and let's just see if we can get anything specifically with this. This is just an experiment, just something that I wanted to try out just to see what it is that we would get. 
All right, so if there's something attached to this camera, or maybe somebody here who wants to maybe give us an explanation as to what, what is up with this thing, you can use this to speak to us. I'm gonna come one day with a broom and just start sweeping everything up, because it's really annoying when I'm trying to stay quiet and everywhere you walk there's debris. Anybody wanna talk to me about this? Whoever might be attached to it? Maybe somebody here recognizes that there is something attached to this camera and can give us a bit of an explanation. What the hell was that? We were executed. What? Oh, crap, what the hell was that? Okay, something just literally moved over there. What the f***? Ah, I'm trying to detach the damn camera. What the fuck was that? Lie. Lie? Wait, what the hell? Was that that? When I walked in here, I'm pretty sure that was like standing upright. I also heard something down there. And also, whoever the hell keeps coming here, please stop leaving all the damn doors open. Because you're letting all the animals in. Oddly enough, when I was outside, I heard something running upstairs. No idea if it was raccoons or something else. Something moved back here, too. I heard two things. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere, I think. Um, let me bust out the other objects just to see uh, what happens here. Okay, weirdly enough, I put the spirit talker down on the ground right next to the camera, and it hasn't done anything. Believe us. Until now, believe us. What do you need me to believe? There's also a very annoying car or something out there. Okay, let me take the other things out here. Okay, so the other things that I have here, so the other things I have here are two things that I've actually been hanging on to for quite some time. Um, these are actually... Relative. Relative, okay. These are actually not just bricks. They might just look like bricks, but they have special tags on them. The reason why is because they're actually from the Wilson Castle. So, the Wilson Castle has a story to it, and that's the reason why I was collecting these. Um, one of them was actually from the first time I went there. I don't remember which one specifically. Chad grabbed it for me, hung on to it for a little while, and then gave it to me later on, and then when I revisited, I was able to get another one. But the story of the Wilson Castle is that anything that comes specifically from the castle itself has energy of the castle. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I have two of them. I kind of wish I had three so I can complete like a triangle or something. My idea here is kind of like set everything up in the middle so that way it kind of creates like a maybe a complete energy or maybe I'll use the camera as part of the triangle. I don't know. Let's try triangle first, I guess. I don't know. I'm just kind of mucking around here just to see what kind of happens, but this could be pretty interesting. So we just got a response that says, I'm with my family. Okay, let's set these up kind of in corners, I suppose. I have no idea if this is actually going to accomplish anything. Do you understand? I do understand. What am I supposed to understand? All right, we've got uh, our items set up here. I know it might be a little hard to <clears throat> kind of see, but we got one brick there, one brick there, and then the camera over there. Well, we've got three haunted items here that may have attachments, entities from other locations, other people in time. Can you explain to us anything about them? Anything about these objects? Maybe who they belonged to? Maybe uh, make, a, make a noise if there's something connected to these objects? That was just my foot. That cold air is coming back. 
Is somebody coming back? I sense there was something here earlier. I just went so quiet. Okay, now I'm hearing something upstairs again. What the hell? Bad spirits here. Bad spirits here. Well, we know there's bad spirits here, but can you tell us if they're maybe from the camera, maybe from the either either of the two bricks from the Wilson Castle. Oh, I heard footsteps. If there's something specifically connected to these objects, please make a noise, a sound. Just give us a sign that you're here and you are connected to one of them. Let me try something here. This might be just really dumb, but I'm gonna stand directly in the center. Actually, you know what? Let me set up the tripod and I'm gonna stand directly in the center of these objects. All right, like I said, this could just be really, really stupid and do absolutely nothing, but it's definitely worth trying. Yeah. All right, we got a name, Philip. Philip, are you connected to the house or to one of these objects? If there is something connected to these objects that I'm standing in between right now, come alive for me. Show yourself. I just noticed that there was a coin here. It's an old Canadian penny, which is interesting because we don't have pennies anymore. I wonder how long that's been there. It does kind of feel like there's an energy shift right now. Is there something here shifting the energy? Is it coming from my magical Jasper. Jasper? Never got that one before, that's interesting. Jasper, were you the owner of the camera? Can you tell us what happened to you? I'd really love to know. Something just tapped my shoulder again. Jasper, is that you? Are you connected to the camera? Okay, let me step outside of this for a second. I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache in here. And I'm also feeling disoriented. I don't know if it's coming from that. Like I said, this could just be really stupid. I don't know what the hell I'm even doing right now, but... Do you want to talk to me? Anybody want to talk to me? The house itself has gone quiet, which is kind of strange. Entities of the house, where'd you go? The little boy who's here. We know you're here. Love. Love. Okay. Can you tell us where you are? You want to come and maybe hang out? <clears throat> Is there any energy here from the Wilson Castle? I would love for you to use your energy to make something happen. We know you're connected to items that lead the castle, so I'm hoping that that energy transfers here. I just really want to see what you're capable of. Mr. Wilson? It would be crazy if uh, Colonel Wilson actually came through in connection to these bricks. It's getting really cold again. It always is in the same spot, in this general area. It's like something's hovering and kind of watching me right now. What was that? I heard 
heard something. I am very surprised at how little is coming through right now. I want to see if I hover, keep my hand over any of these objects, if anything changes. Walls hold secrets. We know walls hold secrets. Can any of the entities maybe explain anything about these? I'm feeling their energy, but I'm not getting enough. Sometimes this kind of stuff takes time, of course. It's weird because like when I hold my hand directly over one of them, it does feel colder. But apart from an energy shift and maybe slight temperature change, I just hear somebody speak. Hello? We are here always. Whoa. Well, go figure. All right, well, I'm gonna have to get a move on soon. I think I wanna come back and probably try something like this again. I do have some other items that I could potentially use as well. Any last words for any of you? Unfortunately, I gotta, I gotta head out. It feels like something's touching my shoulder. There's a lot of mosquitoes too, but I did spray myself, so they're not really bothering me. Does no one want to talk to me anymore? Is tonight not your night? I hear something. Something's moving. Alrighty then. Well, <laughs> this has been fun. Um, but I am going to head over to the haunted forest that I had planned on filming at tonight. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to come back here soon. Um, I am in the process of bringing somebody on board to help me film these videos as well. Um, I think the interaction is also very entertaining for you guys. Some of you might remember him. Um, he's just, you know, he's going to come on board at least for a couple months part time and uh, really good dude. So um, I think it'll be uh, good for us and good for him at least to have somebody uh, who's really cool on board for a little while. But apart from that, I am going to, I just heard something move somewhere. I don't know where, but I am going to get a move on. Um, smash the like button. If you want me to try more stuff like this, um, I am working on accumulating haunted items. Maybe I'll acquire a Dybbuk box sometimes. That was a really weird sound. grunt or something. It's getting really cold in here again. Hello? Okay. <laughs> that was weird. I don't even know where that came from. <sighs> but yeah, uh, apart from that, I'm going to head out. Like I've said for like the third time. <laughs> Smash the like button and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>